Mr. President, most Americans agree that the cost of prescription drugs is too high. Most Americans agree that President Biden has done the right thing by reducing the monthly cost of insulin to $35 so that millions of people facing diabetes can afford their medication. Most Americans agree that it is almost impossible to explain why American drug companies sell the same drugs in Canada for a fraction of the cost they charge American consumers. Most Americans agree that the pharmaceutical companies should be able to take advantage of basic research by agencies like the National Institutes of Health, but when it comes to their profit making, they ought to be reasonable with the American taxpayers who started them down the road to a successful product. Most Americans also agree that the number one driver in the cost of health insurance premiums is the cost of prescription drugs. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Chicago has told me as much. Uh, it stands to reason. That's why it's very difficult to understand the statement just made by the Republican leader in the Senate, who is suggesting that the idea of negotiating with the pharmaceutical companies so that Medicare, for example, doesn't pay the highest price for drugs is a reasonable thing. What I heard from the Republican leader was this was prescription drug socialism. Socialism. That we would go to the private sector and say life-saving drugs should be affordable, you're entitled to a profit, but you're not entitled to rip off taxpayers or consumers across America. That seems like a reasonable approach. In fact, it seems so reasonable Someone suggested we do that for our veterans years ago. The Veterans Administration has been negotiating prescription drug pricing for years. What the senator from Kentucky refers to as unelected bureaucrats are the officials of the Veterans Administration who, on behalf of the veterans and their families, sit down at a table and negotiate a reasonable cost so that the veterans will always have those drugs available to them and the government will pay not the highest price, but a reasonable price for the product. That's been going on for decades, and I don't recall any Republican, or de Democrat for that matter, who stood before the Senate or the House and said, it's a bad idea. Veterans Administration ought to pay a much higher price for drugs, and taxpayers ought to foot the difference. The reason you don't hear that is it doesn't make sense. We should be able to negotiate reasonable pricing for pharmaceutical drugs in Medicare just as we do in the Veterans Administration. That's what President Biden has suggested. And he took a look at the top 10 drugs that the Medicare uh, system is buying across America. Not surprisingly, these drugs, which have tongue twister names, are familiar to most Americans. Why? The pharmaceutical companies have put so many ads on television for the drug Xarelto, that we can not only pronounce it, but we can spell it. And Xarelto, of course, is a drug that appeals to many people, but certainly to senior citizens. Now, for the record, there are only two nations in the world that allow television advertising of pharmaceutical prices. The United States, uh, pharmaceutical drugs. The United States and New Zealand, of all things. So why do the pharmaceutical companies spend more money on television and advertising and marketing than they do on research to find new drugs and cures? Well, they do that because they make money at it. They are trying to reach American consumers, in this case senior citizens, and convince them the next time they go to, for a doctor's appointment to ask for one of these drugs. Now the doctor may decide to counsel the person that that drug is not appropriate for the challenges or medical situation they face. He may say there's a generic that's much cheaper, and he may try to talk them out of the idea, but after some time, they usually, the doctors usually give in to the patients. They have a limited amount of time to debate with them, and they've got to move on to another patient. And so that drug, the high-priced prescription drug, advertised on television, is then sold to the senior citizen. And and as a result, the taxpayers through Medicare pay for a large portion of that high-priced drug. That's an unfortunate system, but it's very profitable for the pharmaceutical companies. So to call this socialism is to ignore the obvious. 
We want Americans to have access to affordable, effective drugs, whether they're buying them as private citizens or through programs like Medicare and Medicaid. What the president has said is I should take my authority as president given to me by Congress with a measure that received only Democratic votes and negotiate drug prices down to an affordable level for the government and for individuals. Some may call that prescription drug socialism. I call it common sense. We should protect American consumers from high-priced prescription drugs. Why the Republican leader takes the opposite position is his business. But I think most Americans believe it's a reasonable approach.